you see here we are digging a day at the Holland Camp House. Came out here about four days ago and poked up a privy. Seemed to have maybe a uh, brick topper on it, but uh, Mark's down here digging. We've started finding some bottles. Another one coming up now. So far we've had uh, a few Dayton Brewery bottles come up and our first Xenia bottle is a Fargo Springs mineral water that uh, was uh, bottled in several different towns but it is marked for Xenia too. See right there we got another one coming up. Well, the Dayton Breweries had a branch location down on Mill Street here in the 1915 directory, so they filled the void when the Xenia Ale Company went went under. Every brewery we dig seems like it has Dayton Breweries All right, we're back here at the dig site, the Holland Camp House in Xenia, Ohio. Gotten a little deeper here, and. Uh, you can see down in here, we have the uh, wooden liners, pretty thick wooden liners and some posts that were used to uh, secure the framing in place. Typical uh, construction. Looks like high grade lumber was used down in there. We're getting a lot of water filling into the pit. And uh, well, we've been at it a couple hours so far. What do you think, Steve? Is it a pretty good one so far? Yeah, it's kind of interesting what we found to fill all those uh, Dayton Brewery balls and a couple other small towns, and we did get all one Xenia uh, mineral water balls. So, hopefully, there'll be use later down there. We'll find more cool stuff. Oh, cool. What do you think, Chuck? Yeah, it's good. It's working good. And here's Mark Ferguson. <laughs> we got the big thumbs up. All right, we'll get back to you a little bit later, folks. There's the bottle table is filling up. I hear a bunch of them down there. Ooh, hair. That's hair. Give me a head with hair. Long, beautiful hair. Dayton Brewing Company. Yeah, we got, hey Chuck, this wall over here is getting ready to, right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, the whole damn thing, ain't it? Yep. The bottom collection continues to grow here out of this uh, dig. Plenty of uh, Dayton breweries. We've had some uh, Wiedemann. We've got a nice pop top holster there. And uh, we have, one of our first ones out was a Fargo Mineral Springs. And that would have been bottled here in Xenia, Ohio. It was bottled around, but uh, Xenia, Ohio had a Fargo Mineral Springs franchise. Folks, here we are back at the Holland Camp dig. We're about done with her down to the bottom. Mark's trying to finish her up right now, taking down one last little corner. She proved true to form. She went to six foot in depth and that means she was built after 1906. She's got an impressive display of wood, at least two inch stock, based off of four by six corner posts to anchor the sides when they constructed it. Getting down here at the bottom, it's usually a bunch of broken stuff and in the last little bit of the muck. It's taking a toll on the crew today. We got bottles laying around everywhere out here in the dirt. We're gonna shock the neighbors by just how quick it goes back together as well. Taken out the majority of the bottles and 
brought them over here to the table. And we're going to go through and talk about what uh, is going home with us and what's going to the uh, historical society here in Xenia. What might stay here with uh, the owner of the property as well as a permanent uh, historical record of what has happened here today at the Holland Camp House in Xenia, Ohio. Be back with you. Here we are, back for the second part of the Holland Camp House dig story. On our last adventure, we dug up the pit right here, filled it back in. It turned out to be the first, I'm sorry, the last privy that the uh, brewery used. And that uh, was evidenced by the clean out material and assortment of bottles that were in there.